Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome to a new demo for the Nintendo 3DS, Codename Steam. We control the heroic members of Strike Team Eliminating the Alien Menace, a squad featuring characters from folklore and literature led by none other than President Abraham Lincoln, with a mission to defend Earth from extraterrestrial invaders. Now, I hear you. We've all learned about it in school. But now we can actually play a historical retelling of that time the lion from Wizard of Oz body slammed a space monster. I'm really excited to play this with you guys, so let's give it a look. Now, I played a little bit just to get a hang of the controls, and now this has actually become one of my most anticipated games of 2015. You can tell right away that this is an alternate steampunk world with a lot of style influences from things like the Silver Age of comic books and the Batman animated series from the 90s. This is a beautiful steam-powered Zeppelin flying straight into a comic book panel. So yeah, really heavy comic influence in this. And here is sweltering London. This would be horrible to live in. There's just steam all over the place. This truly is the age of steam. We've got steam dirigibles, blimps flying through the sky, steam rising off the buildings. Even old Big Ben has some steam-powered gears. And this statue uses flags to control the air traffic, which is pretty cool. We've got some chucka chucka comic book trains going by. Yeah, this is a combination third-person shooter and turn-based strategy game, but it has a really fun, over-the-top, patriotic sense of humor. I want that bicycle. That is really cool. We're about to get into some of the story here, and then we're going to get right into the action before too long, so let's do it. London, a modern utopia. Thanks to exciting advances in steam technology. No more pouring your own tea. There we go. Even now, steam vehicles crowd London's fair streets beyond capacity, which is why we are all looking forward to today's event. The grand opening of the Steamgate Bridge, crossing the mighty River Thames. Ooh. This mechanical marvel can open and close before you can say, Rule Britannia! Oh. <laughs> the new drawbridge offers drivers swift passage over the Thames. You really rolled that R. So here is the American Embassy, and we're going to meet our main protagonist, and then it's right into some alien killing action. Our live broadcast of the opening ceremony begins in just minutes. Stay tuned. And there he is. He's getting his steam-powered gear on. He's got some crazy America armor there. Looking great. All right. Let's go. The troops are in position, Captain. Roger that. It's almost time. Tell everyone to keep on their toes. There might be aliens or something. You never know. Has the queen arrived? Answer me. <laughs> They'll let us know when she leaves over the wireless. The wireless. Still not used to this thing. Strange times, huh? They had Bluetooth back then in this world, this alternate world. <gasps> Uh-oh. Things are going down. Ah! Ugh! Bad things happening. <laughs> That's some really good, like, campy voice acting in this. And what is happening? Something crazy. The aliens have arrived, and there's just devastation all over the place. Everything's destroyed. It blew up the embassy, and it's like 15 Hindenburgs going on here in the sky. So many Zeppelins just falling down. This is crazy. The aliens are not messing around, so we can't mess around either. We gotta take them out. Blam! Jeez. This looks really good for a 3DS game, for a portable game. The graphics and the style are really nice. Running I like here. it. Come in. Captain! Monsters! We're in battle! Yeah. Hey, hey. Monsters what? What's happening? <laughs> are they eating you or you didn't specify? And here's a big monster of our own we gotta deal with. Ugh, it's got crazy huge tentacles. A million eyes, it's the devastator. I don't wanna get within ten feet of that tongue. Probably not 100 feet, that is gross. But we gotta deal with it. So let's learn how to play the game here, and we will get going. Oh. Henry, come in. Do you read me? We got an ally already. Copy, soldier. What's going on? No clue, but it ain't safe out. We better meet up. So we're gonna meet them pretty soon here. And uh, we have to deal with this, though. He's got eyes all over the place. Every tentacle has like 10 eyes on it. So we're not getting by that guy easily. And there are little aliens all over the place as well. They've frozen a bunch of stuff. They've got some weird ice flowers. Begin so let's mission. begin the first part of the prologue here and learn how to play. Can you find the exit? 
So you can either use the stylus to move around the camera, or I like to use the A, B, X, and Y buttons. You can actually use those to move the camera as well, because you use the stick and the shoulder buttons mostly. Alright, we gotta get over there. And real quickly, before we move too much, I'm going to invert my camera controls here. There we go. It's a little bit easier for me to move around. Alright. So we can move around, and you see that meter at the bottom next to our health meter and our character? That's actually our steam meter, and every time we move a square, we use some. Oh, so he said we need to move behind some cover because that alien, look at him, he's very intently watching us with several of his eyes. So I'm going to hide behind this and end my turn with a little steam left over to Enemy's add turn. to my next turn. And hopefully the alien won't see us. I know he's got like 10,000 eyes, but we're hiding behind a crate, so we should be safe. And nope. He can apparently see through crates, or he just kind of saw us walking in front of, or behind it, like, yeah. Uh -oh. Head for the doors. Go. So we gotta get out of here. We're gonna use our steam power to try to get around. There's some health if we did get hurt, those little books. And these little hint signs actually refill your steam, so you want to go up to them when you have a chance. There we go. And we got our full steam meter back. Once we get a weapon here, we're gonna start using that as well. That also uses our steam. But we got through that area pretty easily, despite a giant alien being there. We're going to move on and grab a weapon and hopefully start shooting some of these suckers down and save the Earth from this invasion. Oh, Metal Gear. <laughs> nice exclamation mark there. And we found a gun. Andy. Haha. -ha. Sorry, buddy. I need this more than you. I still need it. I'm not dead. Remember, shooting uses steam, so don't get too trigger happy. You have to be very tactical in this game. <laughs> But once you get more party members, you, you have a lot of steam and a lot of movement to move around, so you can do a lot of crazy stuff. First, though, we gotta help these people as they scuttle around with these little scuttling aliens. <laughs> Everyone's running. So these are our first type of alien we're gonna encounter. They're very, like, Lovecraftian, you know, HP Lovecraft type of alien. The game actually is called Lincoln vs. Aliens as a subtitle in Japan. So they're really emphasizing the aliens and stuff. I like that subtitle a lot. All right, so we can move around here, and this will recharge us. Oh, so when that line pops up, it says an alien has spotted us. So I'm going to move in close, and then we are going to try to take out this slasher. It actually matters where you aim. If you hit them in their weak spot, you can kill them easier. So yeah, that guy had some weak eyes there. Every time I spot one, he's going to yell out so we know that they're coming. But yeah, you want to kind of target either a glowy spot or their eyes or anything like that. You can uh, use that to take them down easier. I'm going to try to stay here. And then, uh, let's see if I can shoot him from far away. I might just move here. Nope, we don't have enough. So yeah, you really have to time where you're going here. I'm going to stay where I am because then I don't know if that alien can get all the way over here. In the future, you do want to leave a bit of steam once we can do overwatch attacks. Oh, he did get to me, and he slashed me. Oh, jeez. So yeah, you can do something called overwatch where if you leave enough steam, you can actually retaliate and fire on the aliens. Now, my one gripe with the game is that on the alien turns, hopefully in the full version we can speed this up, but the alien turns, they, they, they don't want to show you where all the aliens are because I appreciate that, like the element of surprise and having it be kind of tough, but you kind of like see from Henry's perspective here and you see them walking around through the wall, like behind walls and stuff, so it can get a little slow if you got a lot of aliens on the screen, but I'm going to actually speed those up for you guys so it won't get uh, too slow when we're going around here. I'm going to grab this and refill. We got a bunch of aliens. Yeah, that's when they spot you. You don't really want to be spotted. If you can kind of move around and uh, not have them see you, you can kill them a lot easier. But luckily this uh, rifle here has enough power to take these guys down in one or two attacks. I'm going to actually move back a little bit so that they can't hit me, and we'll end our turn. So it's very tactical. The enemies are all moving around with their own power. You got to make sure you're kind of far enough away. Like, that guy doesn't see me. He's staring at the wall. But this one definitely saw me. He's trying to get behind me to, to slash me with his creepy tail. And that one's... Oh, he moved in. Okay. He must have been told by his buddy. They have like a hive mind, I think. And they're just surrounding me. But I can get my way out of here. And I think... I saw some health over to the side, so we can grab that. But yeah, the alien turn, you can see... I'll show you a couple of these. They're just kind of... They're a little slow if there's a lot of aliens moving. And uh, if they don't get to you, then not much happens. So I'm going to try to speed those up as we go along. To, uh, get back to our action -y turns. There we go. I don't have enough uh, steam to get to that health yet, but we'll do that next turn. It's right there. Let's end our turn here. 
Okay, we're gonna grab our health book. I've got eyes on one. And this guy, I, I mentioned Henry is his name. He's actually Henry Fleming. He's based off of the protagonist from The Red Badge of Courage. That's a book you might have read in school. I pretended to read it back in elementary school. <laughs> But yeah, the, the protagonist in that, Henry, he was, uh, he kind of glorified war a little bit, and he was really gung-ho about going to war in the Civil War, and then it ended up that he, uh, didn't really like it too much, and yeah, he was a little bit of a coward, but then he learned how to fight. So we're gonna have a little bit of that with this protagonist here, I believe. There we go, they were trying to move around me, and I can hit them in their glowy bottoms because of that. Can I clip this one? Yeah, we can. They were all trying to go around that way to get to me. I missed! Oh, it's alright. We'll just stay here. I don't know if he even knows I'm behind him. They were trying to sneak around those Enemy's crates to turn. get to me, but I snuck around them, and we killed two of them. I think there's only one alien left here. Enemy there, sighted. we got me. Okay. And he's gonna slash me, but we got plenty of health. Luckily, we got that book of health earlier. And Please it's already turn. our turn to shoot him right in his three eyes here. See ya. They don't have glasses, so they're not four eyes, but they are three eyes, and we can go almost to the exit. Now that all the aliens are dead, though, we uh, can go straight in there. They don't have any more turns. We just kind of move around. So there's definitely things to complete and find on the battlefield. So even if you kill all the aliens, you can find a lot of secrets and stuff. And we got another goal here. We're almost done with the prologue, but we've got a new type of alien to deal with. That big guy there with the one eye. And uh, those guys are really tough. You gotta be extra careful around those ones. So we're gonna try our best to not get spotted. Here we go. Now this is what I was mentioning. Overwatch is really handy. And there's a little steam take right there. So I'm gonna try to uh, save that. Let's see if I can... Uh, maybe I should try to get around. And then I'll come back for that in a second here. Yeah, I wanna shoot those guys and not use all that steam up but I don't think I can shoot him from here. I should probably move. There we go. Oh, yeah, you gotta be careful. So Overwatch is the ability to attack an enemy. Yeah. When, they are, when they're moving around. So he used an Overwatch on me, and uh, I, I just tried to use, or, uh, you know, shoot him, but he's still Overwatching me, and I gotta move out of the way. There we go. I'm gonna try to grab some more steam here in a second. You want to leave enough power to shoot your weapon and then when the alien moves you can do the same to them which is nice. But I didn't leave any steam there. The more steam you leave on each turn, you can see I didn't completely fill up my tank, but if I leave a little steam each turn, oh jeez he got me again. If I leave a little steam each turn then I can overwatch them so you want to try to do that. Jeez, if you're not quick enough they can really hit you. Uh, I'm not doing so hot on this one. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna leave that steam and we'll have it next turn and we also have it in case that other Enemy's alien moves turn. in the way. And you can get him and then stun him. There we go. My own overwatch attack. And he is dazed. So he's not going to be able to get up and do much here. Ha. Thanks, buddy. We're going to meet that guy very soon here. Oh, uh-oh. We got another one. I might actually die on this, which would not be good. This is uh, the third part of the prologue, and we're already very low on health. I'm going to have to try to uh, get around here and get some health, but we have enough. I should kill this guy real quick if I can, and then we'll try to hide. i got to be very tactical now because we are on our own. I have no health. I don't think there's any health pickups anywhere around here. So I'm just going to... Uh, maybe I'll stay here and use my Overwatch on him. Hopefully that'll work in time before he gets close and attacks Enemy's me. He, he fell for it last time, so he'll probably Enemy. fall for it again, right? There we go. Get him, get him, get him, and that killed him. All right. Now, if I can look out for the one up there, we should be okay on this turn. We can't take one more hit, though. If we take one more, I think we're dead. And Henry actually has the ability to push boxes and stuff around, but I don't, I'm trying to see if there's any health hidden around here. There's a guy up there. I'm going to try to just stay as I am, like this, and keep my overwatch. You always want to have that overwatch, Enemy's unless you're really just trying to book it across the battlefield. He's just going to stay there. I don't know if I can get him before I go to the, uh, if I try to go to the goal and that guy sees me, then I'm going to be in trouble, but I can take him down before he gets me. I just got to shoot him a couple times. There we go. See, I'm far away, so I have a hard time shooting with this weapon, but we're okay. That might be all the aliens. We might have made it to the goal without dying. Yes, we did it. All right. That was close, but we made it. Nice work, champ. And here's our new buddy, our first ally. There he is. He's just watching. Live and breathe. <laughs> it's an old pal. Another folklore character. This is John Henry. If it isn't John Henry. Yep. <laughs> he's 
got a bear grenade launcher, which is a really cool weapon. Is it a new model? He gave us a cool new weapon too. Sure is, but you know what? I think it suits you better than me. Now this guy's voice and actor. Besides, I like my old one better. Makes a bigger boom. He sounds like Al Roker. <laughs> he really. John, I see. This is gonna be just like old times. <laughs> it's weird. He... <laughs> yeah, man. Don't think we've been in a fight together since the war ended. This is gonna be fun. I can't not hear Al Roker. He's a weatherman for the Today Show, <laughs> but I can't Mission not hear his complete. voice whenever I hear John Henry. Look over there. So that's it for the prologue. Smoke. Dun dun dun. To all able-bodied soldiers receiving my voice, assemble at the smoke. Repeat, assemble at the smoke. Not the steam, the smoke. Here's hoping there's some backup waiting for us when we get there. It's just like that old saying where there's smoke, there's friends. So <laughs> we're going to head over there. I'm going to show you guys how John Henry works, and then we're going to finish up. Thank you guys for watching. I do really appreciate it. Checking out a new series. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, and let me know in the comments if you want to see more. I really like playing this game, and I hope to play more with you guys. Here we go, our first real mission. Let's do it. If you stay clear of the blast, I'll lob a few explosives their way. He's a heavy weapons guy. I won't need to stay clear of the blast if you watch where you aim. <laughs> so John has this bear grenade launcher that is really awesome. And uh, I like the little illustration there, explaining how you use it. There's three different uh, ranges for it, so you can kind of adjust it, and you can blow up different crates, and of course, enemies, and it blasts them so much for far away, usually. He kind of fell over this way, so I that's good. good Make him a little easier to kill, but I actually so need to get this uh, tip here so I can I get my one. steam back. There we go, and I'm going to blast my way right through so we can save time, and we don't have to walk around yeah. these little uh, tanks here. The, uh, so much for the little barrels and you can actually go up and grab so stuff and then backtrack which is nice and save steam I'm gonna head over here with John because there's a way up one. on the stairs and he spotted it, it to me. we're gonna switch characters and then Henry's They're gonna go me. over here and I've got just enough steam to shoot the slasher he's dead alright and that's it for our turn we ran out of steam here I think I might have saved a little bit with, with John but you could, if it'll carry over to the next turn. Uh oh, a slasher sneaking up on me. Oh jeez, a little bit of damage, but I got him. That's all right. So John Henry is a. Anyone else from the embassy guard? Oh, he's talking to me. You're the only person I've heard from since this whole thing started. There was that dead guy. The are okay. <laughs> we stole a gun off a dead guy, basically. I'm going to grab this, and then we're going to back back up here. So John Henry, if you haven't heard of the legend of John Henry, he's actually a folklore character, and he was a steel driving man. They were guys that worked for the railroad, and they would actually put these uh, steel picks into the, uh, the walls of different mountains and stuff when the railroad wanted to make their way through. Maybe I'll just blast him, and then we'll move back on the next turn. There we go. I blasted him right into Henry's range there. And then I'll move back over here. We don't really need that health. Henry can use it. There we go. Let's pick that little bit off of his glowy fanny. And we're good. But yeah, he uh, he would drive the uh, the steel into the stone. And then the mountains, they would blast them with dynamite to make sure the railroad could drive through. Okay. Got one of these guys right in my face. But I got him. So what's ironic with uh, John Henry is that he actually had a, ba a battle with a steam-powered hammer. He had a race against one, and he won in the legend, but he died shortly after. So uh, it's weird to see that he's got a robo steam leg, and he's got a steam arm and everything. I'm not going to worry about that guy right there. I'm just going to keep moving forward. And uh, he spotted me, but that's okay. All right. Players turn. So yeah, in this alternate version of the world, uh, John Henry just completely embraced steam power, I guess, and uh, decided that it's all right. I'm just going to use steam to uh, do everything. I want to have enough to move forward into that, but I'm just going to do it. Then we can get through here easy. He can actually break different things there. Causes uh, costs a little bit of steam. I see one. There we go, and we can walk right over this edge. Which I, I can one. use to pick off guys down there next turn. And let's grab Henry. I'm going to save it, and we're going to end out. I actually Henry got a, a little gear there, which you can use to unlock different stuff. 
so it's good to collect those. Let's go to the save point here real quick, and we will save the game. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time we will continue on with this mission for more Codename Steam, and I'll see you then. Goodbye.